Yeah, good morning. Today is Thursday, 5th of July. We're here in uh, Esavan. So uh, today well, we're going to be here the next two days. So uh, been looking forward to that. Esavan is one of the most, well, probably the most beautiful city in Iran. So uh, that's going to be good today and have a look at this uh, place. Also one of the most welcoming cities in Iran. We've seen that already. People are already friendly and uh, talking to us and asking us where we're from and uh, want pictures with, well, especially Meda, she's quite popular. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, look forward to seeing more. We, uh, we're going to go to a bazaar and see uh, the main carpets and uh, go and see the big main square, one of the biggest uh, central squares in the whole of the world, I think it is. So, um, let's uh, go and have a look what it looks like here. Okay, so this is an Armenian church here in Esafan. Because it's an Armenian church, it also means it's a Christian church. Because Armenia was the first country in the world to adopt Christianity. But, uh, the reason it's here is because in 1604, the Armenians were forced to leave their, their home country. As we told you before, in Armenia, Armenia used to be a very big country. It's got smaller and smaller and smaller due to the invasions from all the countries around it during the years. So in 1604, they were forced to moved to Esafan. And they built a small church here and then after 50 years they replaced it by a bigger church, this one here. So, and even to this day, even after the genocide of 1915, more Armenians were forced to move and flee from Armenia. And uh, they relocated here in Esafan in this area of the town here. But, uh, even today they live here in, in peace together with Christians living next to Muslims, which is really nice to, to see. And, uh, the Armenians are known as peaceful people, kind people, so uh, they get along quite nicely with the, the Muslims here. So this is inside of the Armenian church here, here in Esafan. You see, it's very different compared to a, a mosque and the fact that it's painted inside with uh, pictures of biblical stories from the Bible, the Old Testament and some from the New Testament. They also made it in, uh, it had to follow some Islamic uh, rules of architecture where you see there's a dome here right on the roof here. Something that's quite interesting here, this is the picture of the Last Supper. And if anybody has watched the Da Vinci Code, you may have known that they say that the person to the right of Jesus was a lady, actually Mary Magdalene. Here it's quite easily clear to see that it actually is a lady at the side of Jesus here. Here they haven't changed the pictures to make it look like a man. It's still in the original form here. If you remember back to Armenia, I told you a little bit about the Armenian Genocide in 1915 which was uh, done by uh, the Ottoman Empire, which is Turkey today, modern day Turkey. And here you can see a, a showcase of it here. It's the first genocide in the 20th century. Okay, once again you can see the people like to get selfies. <laughs> Strange looking Western people. It's one of the things that people in Esafan are known for is their hospitality and warmth. <laughs> of course, we're in an Ar Armenian church. We can see Mount Ararat, the most important symbol of Armenia, which, as you already know, now lies in Turkey. And then it's interesting, uh, here's a uh, the Mother Mary and Jesus. Of course, in the West, we often see him uh, portrayed as uh, being quite light and uh, white in his colour. Of course, Jesus was a person from the Middle East, so uh, more likely he had a, a brown skin. But, uh, a lot of the pictures that we often see uh, show him looking quite Western, but of course, he came from this part of the world. Okay, now it's time to see how carpets are made. Persian copies. Is it pure silk? You can see our family signature in top of this carpet. And the silk which we use here is Caspian Sea Silk. It's the best kind of silk in the world. Interesting what it's like to lie on a one and a half thousand euro carpet that's taken several years to make. Okay, this is the Naqsh Yahan Square. Second biggest historical square in the world 560 meters long and 160 meters wide 
this square. This is a place I've been looking forward to seeing for a long time. Probably the highlight of O2 to Iran. So uh, there's three mosques we can see. And uh, there's lots of shops all the way around. Something like 200 shops, I think, from one end to the other. And two floors. So uh, let's go and have a look at this place. Okay, and we're up on the top floor of the palace here. Top, and this is the music room. You can see a uh, festive made in a special way. Uh, there's a hall here with the shape you can see the Persian guitar. But this also acts as a kind of sound dampening, deadening. So it's basically impossible to hear any sound from outside in here. Beautiful than the one we've just been in. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, we're inside the mosque, in this case. Up to the guide, the most beautiful mosque in uh, Iran. And, uh, you see, the roof is actually in the design of a peacock. about and seen a lot of videos on YouTube but it really is amazing to see it in real life. It's, uh, one thing about Iran, uh, it's got to be one of the most fascinating and impressive places we've been so far. Extremely impressive buildings here in architecture. So I also heard that in the night time all this is illuminated so maybe we'll uh, see if we can come back this evening as well and uh, see it with all the, the illuminated lights as well. And the designers of the scrolls are quite ingenious that they made these uh, Corridors here on both sides, all around the square, where we can walk here without having to walk in the, the heat of the sun. I know it's used as a bazaar as well, you can buy all kinds of gifts and uh, ornaments. And... No time for coffee. Amazing how much coffee you can actually buy in uh, Iran. In Turkey, we couldn't find coffee anywhere. There's wonderful coffee shops at Back in the square where we were this afternoon looking at the mosque there, you can see Thursday evening, that means start of the weekend here in Iran. Thursday and Friday is weekend. And the Iranians are doing what they do best, picnicking and just uh, talking with their friends and family. And this is what they love doing, meeting people, talking. <laughs> of life I've seen and heard so much about the way Iranians they 
like to uh, meet up with their friends and picnic together. Just, uh, once again, the shelves what a fantastic place here, and you walk around here for completely safe and uh, much safer than any other city I've been to in Europe. It's uh, amazing, really. This why running is just one of the most fascinating and interesting places we've been to so far. Just amazing to, to see a place like this. It doesn't take many minutes until there's a crowd around. Once again, asking where we are from, Iranians really like to meet people from other countries. <laughs> Okay, so let's go and see the square in the night time. You can see the family still sitting here now on their carpets having dinner. <coughs> Families everywhere now, just having dinner here now. It's an amazing sight, it really. Is. Have the chance just to walk here, to get all these fantastic people from here on. It's amazing just to be here and see all the life and all the way the families are just uh, enjoying themselves together. All the smiling people smiling at you. Just such a shame to think of when you see the news and hear that Donald Trump wants to make life even harder for these people. Such a shame. There's some more children I think going for another party here in the hotel where we are. That was our first day in Esafan, known to be one of the most beautiful cities in the world and that's exactly what we saw today. We like amazing architecture and uh, nice uh, green parks and uh, also extremely clean city. Amazing walking around, you don't see any lits anywhere. Also this evening we were lucky that because it's the start of the weekend we saw all the families in the, in the park there just uh, Having a nice out, sitting on their carpets and uh, just picnicking away. Late into the thing, it's about 11 o'clock now, and they're still sitting there. Well, not any of them drink alcohol, they're just sitting there having a nice time, smiling. It's an amazing city to walk around. It's, uh, you feel extremely safe. All you see is people smiling at you. Everybody uh, smiling and waving, say hello. So, uh, probably the, the only tourists we've seen this evening in the whole town. It's, uh, Really nice place, really nice place. It's uh, probably the city in the world where I felt most safe. We're just walking around on our own this evening. Our guide's having a rest, so uh, we went out on our own. Had a great evening, absolutely wonderful. So tomorrow we're here again, one more day. I think we're going to see some bridges and uh, another mosque, I think, in the morning. It's, uh, yeah, another day. So a lot of sightseeing. I think we're a bit tired now, but. Uh, should be one more day here in Esafan, so I really look forward to that. One more day. Okay, see you tomorrow.